Hello, this is Rebecca with Create with Rebecca, and I am here today to show you how to create a uh, folder for your traveler's notebook. And this is a four pocket folder. You have your, your cut here, and then you have your, your two pockets up here. And let me show you an example of the one that I created a while back for my traveler's notebook. It slides right in here with the elastic and inside this folder you can hold uh, your paper clips, your stickers, your uh, I have cards in here, my to-do list. On this side I have more stickers, a washi sample, um, and then back behind here it creates two folders that you can put your list in as well. So let me show you uh, this really simple an easy process on making this folder. Uh, the supplies you'll need is scissors, a bone uh, folder, or you can actually use something like maybe an edge of the ruler, but um, I really highly suggest getting one of these because this really is a great tool to have. A pencil, a hole punch, a uh, paper punch. This is to create, um, you can actually do any size that you want of the circle punch. Um, for the top that you pull out, you pull out from the top, which I'll show you. A glue stick, um, these paper clips, and a ruler. So let's get started. Um, first, oh, and also you'll need two um, two card stocks. Really, the heavy card stock is what I uh, would recommend, and then also a paper cutter for or you can also just use your scissors to cut the edging. I um, So first of all, I'm going to start out with the outside. And this needs to be a 12 by 12 size uh, paper. Looks like that's a little smaller. So yes, that's it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the length 12 by 12, but the top I'm going to do 9 and 3 quarters. I also have a sample here that I kind of go by as well, but this is what the shape is going to be like before you um, put the insert in and the um, and glue it together. So let me get out my heavy duty paper cutter, and you can also just use scissors if you don't have this. So I'm going to measure this out to nine and three fourths. Just make sure that's where I'm at here. That's a little over. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nine and three fourths. Okay, turn that aside. And then what I also use is a. Uh, Traveler's Notebook insert. This is one that I created with the papers on the inside. This is kind of a guide for measuring out the uh, where the pocket will be folded. And let me give you an exact measurement on that. This is one of those easier to measure with. And this is about eight and one eight and a quarter. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to mark this side here so I know where. And to keep it even all the way across, I'm going to measure this side. Again, this is something you could use with the ruler too, from one side to the other, but it's just easier for me to use this as a template. And then once I have those marked, I'm going to take my bone score and score bone and score this. I'll also show you another tool that I have that will work perfect on this, but this way. And you bend it like this. And then we're going to bend it lengthwise as well to create that crease for the pocket, for the bend in the folder. So, you have this going on here, the beginning of your pocket. Now, as you can see, 
it's too wide on the edges but I'm going to fold this over to create a, uh, a real fine, um, a defined edge as you can see it looks really nice and neat right here along the edges to create that closure okay so and it, I believe it's about one inch let's measure this real quick here it's about oh it's half an inch that you need to um, to fold that over so what I will do is use my insert as a template and I'm going to mark it right there and mark it right there so that I know I need to bend that. Now this is where you can come in and do the same thing with the with your bone and your ruler for measurements but I'm going to show you another piece of equipment that I have purchased and I don't use it often but for, for reasons like this, this is my Martha Stewart um, envelope folder and also it gives you a guideline to score so I'm going to measure up where that mark is, put it in one of those grooves, and then I'm just going to go right down like that. And that creates a perfect bend. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. perfect score and bend. Okay, now we're beginning to see it come together and as you can see now it is the same size as your insert. So to create this groove in here you could keep this as an easy slide in and out but I like pulling it from the side just because I do end up usually putting a lot more papers in there. So to do that, you're going to measure from the actual length fold, not the open part, down to, to the end here, and I'll show you how to do that. Take your ruler, and I just kind of do a diagonal from that point, the fold, to the bottom fold. Now mark it. And that's going to be where I'm going to cut this. And there you have your pockets right here. Now, we're going to add the inside. But first, I'm going to trim off this excess right here because you don't need this part when you fold this over. So I'm just going to follow the the fold and cut that end off there. And that way, make sure. Sometimes you might need to trim it if you don't um, get it thin enough. But as you can tell, this folds just perfectly. Okay, now for the inside to create those other two folders. I get my paper, and I actually just use this as a template to cut this. So what I will do is I'll take my 12 by 12, and I'm just gonna kinda wrap this around to be able to see where I need to cut the inside. So I just kinda measure that. There we go. And then I'm going to just draw a pencil line so that I can cut that. Okay. Don't you just love this cloud paper? It's so adorable. I love clouds. I'll save this other. 
I save all my scraps because I use a lot of it in my artwork that I do as well. And as you can tell, it's not that even, but you're not going to see the edging on it as well. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and fold this in. Go ahead and create that fold so that it fits in there nicely. And I'm just going to measure because sometimes the edging, see how it's kind of buckling up there, as you can tell. So I'm going to need to trim this down just a bit. So I'll just take my scissors. in there. Isn't that cute? Okay, so then we're going to take this and we're going to create that opening. So this is where I get my one and a half inch punch. I'm just going to punch that section out. And it's going to fit nicely in there where you can have that opening up. Now for me to glue, I use, excuse my arm, I use a paper towel as my backing so that I don't get glue all over my workspace. I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to lay that down, and this is actually, this piece of the folder is going to fold down first, and then we're going to add that edging on there. So I'm just going to come in and add glue right here. I'll put a nice amount in there because you want it to really stick. Fold that down. Fold that piece in there. Make sure it's flushed with the bottom. Now what I do is I'll come in here and I'm going to create a slip because I'm going to actually have my papers, my notes, and uh, all my stuff I put inside. I want it to go to the back of it. So I'm going to create a little cut. And then this is where my paper clips, my little clothespins come in handy to hold that down just so the glue will dry and not come undone. I'm going to put one more right there. Okay, so then we're going to do the same to this side. Fold this down. Fold this over. Are you getting glue on my fingers? Make sure it's nice and uh, stuck down. Create your cut. And then, that's a big one. Add your little small clothespins for closure. I'm going to go ahead and use that bigger one there. There, and then what I usually do is I just let this dry for, you know, a couple minutes, 15 minutes. You know, it doesn't take long for the glue to dry. But let me show you a few that I have completed. This is one that I just um, have where I use my closures, and I'll just take those off. And there's my folder. And you can add your, um, here's another one that I did. And this one. And as you can see, I already started adding some of my little accessories, which is my little magnet clip. And back here is my to-do list and my jot-down list. Now, I thought about adding, oh, one other thing I'll show you what to do. I thought about adding some staples along here. But I think that once you put it into your, your notebook, your traveler's notebook, it's going to ha have that crease in there so you don't have to worry about your paperwork moving from one side to the other. Now, I, what I did forget to tell you is where my hole punch comes in handy is I'm going to create little um, creases right here 
so that when your your twine your string your elastic comes in there it doesn't start ripping these edges so what I'll do is I'll just come in here and punch a little hole like half moon and that creates that little bit so that elastic will go in there and not rip your papers there we go oops clip came off and it's ready to go well thanks for watching and I will be doing a video soon coming back to create covers for my um, traveler notebooks. Thank you. Have a good day.